you saw the show last night, we introduced you uh, to one of Canada's great young comics, Jason John Whitehead, who is actually here tonight. Uh, he gave us his best story ever about playing the comedy store here in London. Uh, there's actually a bunch of excellent Canadian comics and comics from all over the world who are doing their thing in London, England. Jason Rouse is one, Phil Nickel, this guy as well. His name is Tommy Campbell. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tommy's best story ever. When I was a teenager, there wasn't a lot to do because I grew up in Calgary. So at night, we used to drive around and look at the hookers on 3rd Avenue. Sorry, this is what we did, right? And this one night, we're driving along, and my friend says, let's pull over and, and like, let's talk to the hookers. So I'm like, okay, right, interaction, wow. So we pull over, we roll down the window, and the girl's like, yeah, can we come inside and warm up? And I'm like, no problem. But there was a problem because the car was a two-seater, right? So we had to, like, jump out and make some room because there was only really enough room for, like, a hockey bag or, like, two whores in this case because we managed to fit them in, right? So we get back in the car, and the car behind us humps. So now i got to start moving, right? And the girl behind me, she says, uh, she says, where are you taking us? Which hotel? And I'm like, I'm not taking you to any hotel. I thought you just wanted to warm up. i got the vents on full. It's hot in here. We're cooking. It's toasty. And she goes, you know, damn well what warm-up meant, you little shit. You're screwing me around. I could have been working right now. You're wasting my time. So she says, you know, give me all your money. And I'm like, what? And then she puts a gun to the back of my head, and I'm like, holy crap. Like, is this really happening, you know? So she says, yeah, just pull over in this dark alley, right? So I pull over, and uh, she takes my wallet, right? And I'm a little bit scared because there's nothing in it, you know? I had, I had, a, I had a raffle ticket, a pizza coupon, some ID, and half a $2 bill. Not even a full $2 bill, a half a $2 bill. So she opens up, she's like, what the hell is this? And now she's getting more mad. And her friend's shaking the mace. And she's got the gun in the back of my head, and I'm like really freaked out, right? And then she says, give me your car. And I'm like, no way, right? Not even thinking, it's just an instinctive reaction. So she hits me with the back of the gun, right? In the back of the head. I'm like, ow, and like, it really hurts, you know? I'm in pain here. So, but as I'm going, ow, I'm like, okay, no problem, right? And I turn to my friend Colin and I signal him, right? Because like I said, it was a two-seater car. So what we had to do is we had to get out in order to let them out, right? So as we're getting out, I lean the seat forward so the girls can get out, and I take her and I throw her to the ground. She smashes on the pavement, and we both jump back in the car, and we peel off, and we make it away without getting hurt, right? Like the hookers are on the pavement, we're flying down the road. So we never got hurt, but the problem was I had like insomnia for a year because they had my ID. And my mom used to like wonder, like, she's like, why can't you sleep at night? And I'm like, well, I don't know, because I like beat up a hooker and I think her pimp's going to come kill me and you. And she's like, what? And I'm like, no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm excited for Christmas. You know? <laughs> Even though it wasn't till June. But I'm Tommy Campbell and that's my best story. <laughs> there you go, Tommy Campbell, Canadian comic, doing it over here. Still more to come on the hour. We'll be right back. Hey, after tonight, we've got two more shows in London. Tomorrow, from CNN, Christiane Almond.